Oh a. my God! Hey man, fucking A! Listen, I thought you were like a wholesome kind of guy. Right here, Chris, they're so interviewing me. See this guy, he brings out the worst in me, man. Hey. Oh my God! Chris oh, Isaac no dropped in. Wow! Hi. How you doing? I think I, come I came sit. For my guitar lesson. Come sit on the couch. <laughs> The, we're doing it. We're being. It, they're, they're talking. They pulled me in. I got the C chord. Now you sit down. You're close. You taught me that. Well, way back in the woods, he was producing songs. Hey. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I was down the street. How long are you in for? <laughs> um, well, you I, I was here for 20 minutes. I can get you cake so out of the, I can get you free cake out of and the commissary. Then, and then they pulled me in. <laughs> wrote me in. See, we're good at this shit. I tried to get this. out, and they pulled me they back. They pulled me back in. So, yes, uh, that's on sale, by the way. You can, uh, <laughs> I don't even start. Like your Rolex. There you go. Yeah, there's. Got mine in Japan, Tim. Are you in buying guitars? No, I was uh, I was down the street and I came in here because I like to visit my pals over here. And then Norm said you might be stopping in, and so I was hanging out. And then here we are doing this fun. Norm said Chris is coming in. You said I, I got to get out of here. He was trying to get out, but you came in too soon. When I was looking at a house, yeah, and we were working on your album. Yes, yes. And we were we were working, and I was like, you know, my uh, I got to go see this house, and you were like, I'll come. And so he's really good when you're trying to close a deal on a house. Because I walked in and, they, and the woman was like, yeah, it's going to be, oh, God. And, you know, uh, this guy walks in with me. And it definitely, it, it helped close the deal. Did it help? Really? Yeah, it did. I, I got a better, I got a and story. You, I got a story about you that's still famous in our band. He <laughs> came to do a television show. Oh, yeah. And we're shooting in Vancouver. And we had an actress on the show who I will not name. Don't name. Who was a singer. And she got, somebody had left a bottle of gin in her room. Uh oh. And so she, she hit it pretty hard. And she couldn't, do you remember this? Yes. She could not remember her line. Yes. And it was one of these things where we did literally like, we did 47 takes. Yeah. And finally, Shanks goes, and we, my band still talks about this. He goes, you know, like we're going, we can't get out of the scene. We need her line at the end to say, you know. And he's feeding her, like, like <laughs> just lobbying the line. You go, please say the line, you know, that like, uh, and finally, it's not his line, but Shanks goes, hey, I heard word on the street is <laughs> that, well, and then says like her. monkeys yeah, are a basket. Yeah, or word on the street is monkeys are buying basket, and says her line. And we all looked and we went. That'll work. <laughs> you got to be able to add lit. Well, right? his show is so great. Uh, like I was down there for a couple of. Them. I loved it. You know, he was so. actually. You were very. You were very good on. You had, like some people get really nervous on stuff, and you're like, eh. <laughs> There's there's another story addendum to that story, but I don't know if we can say it. You can she, say it because this is. Uh, do you remember yeah. she? We were uh, off camera and. The girl that used to be on the bed. Oh yeah, and she was yeah, yeah. Bobby, the, and she was naked. Yeah, yeah, and she was. We were backstage or whatever, yeah. and and she was wearing a bathrobe, and that actress turned to her <sighs> and said, "Are you naked under there?" And she said, "Yes," and she said, "Can you come over here? Cause, come over here, let me sniff you." <laughs> We all okay. went. went. <laughs> we all just went. Oh God! Yeah, it was kind of a wholesome TV it's, show. Uh, right? It's, well, it wasn't yeah. it's almost good to be in show business. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> it's like done. It's a it's a family hour. But yeah. the good news is you don't have to worry because yeah. nobody watches yeah. any of this shit <laughs> anyhow. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that hopefully that part won't. Apparently, our, my show had the same rating. <laughs> there you go. Roughly. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, but that was a, an amazing experience, and to come up there and not get to play with you guys, but also uh, was that. But that was after the record, right? Yeah. It was after the record. What are you doing now? Um, I'm you out traveling and playing, or are you staying home and producing? I'm both, or what? both. I mean, I'm doing Bon Jovi's record, and we're starting March 9th in Nashville. Awesome. And uh, so we were just been writing, and but I have a studio here. He, he won't say about himself. He can play guitar better than anybody you met, you met, and he's got he can sing great, and he's got great melodic ideas, and you go in the studio and you go. 
why am I in here? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you could you can make your own record, but what yeah, record? What like, record did he produce you? What was it called? Uh, I can forget the title. Always got tonight. Yeah, is that the title of it? Yeah, I'm ter I'm terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm I can't. Terrible. And we wrote so I can't. Even t I can't yeah. tell you the names of the songs we worked yeah. on. Or cool we wrote. love. We did a cool song love. called Cool Love. That was that was a cool song. Yeah, it was. And it yeah. had chords that I wouldn't. You know, like of chords I wouldn't usually use. I went like, oh, hey, there's a seventh minor diminished no. major. No, With a, maybe you know. a minor. Maybe it was like you know. <laughs> yeah. What's that? But it was E. It was, that, that's not C, D, or G. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but what I loved about going up to his apartment, your old yeah. house, yeah. which I hear you don't, you don't. You I still have it. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Um, that his band rehearsals were in his living room. Yeah. So we were doing pre-production for the record in his living room. Yeah. And you had a magnetone. Yep. Still right? have it. Oh. Yeah. You know, with the, with the. Yeah. And Vibrato. Yeah. So this is, what's interesting about recording these guys is they have a big sound, but they play so quiet. We're the quietest band. It's in like he uses a Fender Twin, right? Yep. And you play on like one, <laughs> right? Maybe like, one and a half. I put super glue there. There, one right. and a half. Ooh. And and just <laughs> everybody, it's so beautiful because everybody's so respectful, and everyone's really listening, and you could almost talk over yeah. how loud they play. Which of course gives him yeah. the the vehicle and the platform to sing the vocals. Yeah. Not sing to mention, I've seen the band many times, and the band is a fabulous band. But they also do an acapella thing to yeah. that, you know, when they they're doing live, good. and you know, so everybody's got to be able to hear well to be able to do that. And the harmonies are ridiculously oh, great, good. And I mean, great, you great know, band. That, but that's that was such a fun record. That was it like was a fun. fun record because we did it in Oakland. It was fun. And, uh, you know why I wanted to work with you? Because mm. I met him out, uh, you were sitting w out by the pool with, who was it? Um, Cheryl? Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl Crow. Yeah. And sitting out by the pool with Cheryl Crow. Where? And I don't know, we were at some We were in like we're, Arizona Yeah, we were, on a, we were on the road someplace. With Stevie. And I met him and, and I go, that's the funniest guy I've ever met. Like he was just like one after another, one, one smart ass comment. <laughs> after I went to Cheryl, my manager, and I said, "That guy's funny." She goes, "Yeah, that's him." That's him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cheryl, you know, Cheryl Lewis is amazing too. You know, but yeah, we we kind of hit it off. I mean, we that was the good thing about that record. We lot of, we had a good time making that record. We had like crazy little stories, like driving around and. Uh, you, you were on, you lived, and then you lived on a boat. Yep. But that I was lived, when you were doing the show. I lived on a boat. I was always one head, one step ahead of the law. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta write quick. Can we write in the back of my car? <laughs> no, but you're okay. You know, this could go on. For you're still not our, like in the witness protection program we said anymore. Most no. of our stories we can't tell for another seven to ten yeah. years. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 And then. They revert, they, were, they revert back. Yeah. They definitely revert back. Then the statute of limitations is up. Yeah, yeah. We could go on, but it, I, you, you know, know it's a talking, fan. talking about how quiet the band was, mm. we went into Sun Studios. You've been in Sun Studios, yeah. Memphis. Yeah. And I went in there to record, and I was talking to Jerry Lee Lewis's guitar player. Wow. Who doesn't get much attention, but who I loved. And I'm talking to him, and I said, you know, I've read every book about Sun Studios, and you read all the books, and you try, you see pictures of it, and you go, "This is where Elvis stood." Blah blah. Mm -hmm. What you can't, what no one can tell you unless you were in the room is, how loud did you guys play? Mm. Like, I mean, how loud was the rock? And he goes, "We didn't play very loud." He goes, "You know, it was." He goes, "We played as loud as we wanted to." Mm -hmm. You know. And my guitar player walked up right when he heard, we played as loud as we wanted to and went, oh. like that. And then he Herschel. turned to me and he goes, but it was 1955. He goes, we didn't want to play very loud. Right. But the other thing was they didn't want thinking, distorting an amp was not good. Yeah. You didn't want to distort yeah. the amp. That I'm was... the only guy in the world who agreed with him. <laughs> I always, like, people always went, distortion, I go like, why, yeah. would, why would you put distortion pedal on anything? Right. Well, are you crazy? Yeah. 
But, you know, walking around your house, you know, talk about yeah. a subtle guitar collector. He's like, oh, I only have a couple guitars. And then there was that room yeah. you had. And you walk in and it's all, but it's cool guitars. Yeah, they, were, they weren't. You collect really yeah. offbeat, cool guitars. I, it opened it, a whole world for if me. If I had a children's home, it would have been all the kids that limped. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's but like, filtertrons, like yes, you know, old yeah, gold yeah. foils and yeah, like yeah. those little micro... Uh, 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 they're just yeah, cool, yeah. like a silver Wilson, tone. You know, Wilson's. Wilson guitar, and uh, there's a guitar with a K. I can't even. Craftsman. Cat caster. Caster. I had a, one called a caster, which I go. I can't even look that up online. You go and find it. Like I go. Who guy probably made twelve I made guitars. A bass, and... I made a bass for my bass player, like myself. I made it out of an old bass and took it apart and put together. And, you know, sprayed it and stuff. And I said, here, and it looks like a 1940s bass or something. And he, it's this monster with big bolts on it, like bolted together body. And he, so he goes, okay, I'm gonna give you something. He gave me as a joke, this blue guitar called a caster, K-A-S, like T-O-R or something. I said, what's this? And I plugged it in and I go, it sounds weird. Yeah. I love yeah. this. <laughs> but it was you great because we brought all those in and yeah. the Welson we used. Yeah. And there was, I, w I want to say it's like a Craftsman or with a K yeah. or something. Maybe it's that guitar. Yeah. There were some, there were a few of them that were just. The sad part was like, I, I like such, I still feel bad because you're a professional and you do good work and you make good, you make great records. And I'm, there's something about me very amateur sometimes. And I would do things that I'd go like, yeah, I like this take, and it's you'd go, and it would drive him nuts on only a couple times. Most of the time, you'd go with me, but sometimes he'd just go, "Chris, that's in the wrong key," <laughs> like you know, like or that. It, no, there you were... can hear the plug being unplugged or something. Like we got to fix that. And he goes, "People are going to look at me as a producer and go, what did you?'" And I go, <laughs> "This is really about it. me." <laughs> yeah, you no, know, you just go like they're going to think I was asleep or something, you know? Right. Well, you know, if you play low enough, they can't tell. No, but he. You know, I, I. One thing Chris Guest told me one time, which I love this line. He said. You know, we play loud, you know, in Spinal Tap. Yeah. But he said, you know those jazz guys? They play so low that you just got to take their word for it that they're good. You know, I thought that was a terrific line. But you're, but you're a perfectionist, too, yeah. when it came to the vocals. <clears throat> See, this uh, is the thing. Yeah. Everybody else can fall. That's right. But, you know, no. he, he's meticulous because um, we would, we call it the comp of the comp. Yes. Remember? I remember learning, though. I learned from him because we don't, I always had been used to, You'd go in, you'd sing nine or ten tracks, you'd sing it, somebody would compile the best one together, and then you'd say, okay, should I, should I sing Cut it again? It do you want me to do, is it, I want to make sure it's the best. And Shanks goes, you sounded great, you just sang it great. We, uh, what are we doing, we don't need to do this. And I'd go, I felt like I'm being remiss. I said, "Look, I'll." But do we it. we did we did go down yeah. the river though. We but you know or like I said, I'll go do it. I'll go do. I'll sing the nine tracks. I'll comp them all together. And that was the first time I ever did that where I I comped them all together. But you were I there said, for the comic. Some yeah, some no, artists aren't. I'm always He's I, there. I was there, and I said Meticulous. I comped them all together, and then we A B'd what I'd done versus the one track, and and I went, oh, the one track sounds better. And I went. What am I doing this for? No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't quite that. It was. You know, I, I think you have to. We did the exercise. I yeah. think you have to do the exercise. Yeah. But we, you know, we were in uh, Henson Studio B, yep. and we were comping, and then we would do the comp. Yeah. You know, and sometimes like 10, 15 takes, and then we put yeah. together the one, and then we maybe we had done one a week yeah. before, and then we would do super comp. Yeah. And. But I think. But I, he's so he's listen. He's so consistent. We did have that game where yeah. I was. He's like, take ten. I'm like, take three, man. Take and 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 then we'd go and I and I and I go, okay, which one? He go, take ten. I go, no, take three. Yeah, <laughs> but because he's so, I, I it's so cons learned. it's very you're 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 you know. you're a consistent singer, and which also goes into the way you write lyrics, which goes in the way you perform. The way yeah. I mean, he's a pro's pro. So even even yeah. lyrically, the way he writes. I remember in the yeah. studio being with you, and you. I said, I have to write lyrics to this. I don't. I only have scratch lyrics, and you played it back for me. And you go, well, these. Are, I go, that's just the lyrics we made up when we're. I'm as tonight as I'm singing, mm. and you played it back, and you said, 
that works. And we ended up using that. I think you, use, you might have tweaked it then. Yeah. But I think emotionally your improv where you were scatting, yeah. this is what happens. I think so unconsciously the, the mind you, it connects to the emotion of what the music is yeah. and melodically and you were scatting and just finding a, a phonic, yeah. a lyric phonic. And a lot of it was really good ideas, you know? And so you're like, well, let's, why don't you, yeah. that became the sentiment of the song, emotionally and lyrically. And you, yeah. and then he goes off and kind of does, does his homework. Well, you went in the other room. It's, it's always, it's always the third verse that you have to go, because yeah. I already rhymed moon and June. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, all I can say is, if right. Chris Isaac is playing any place, you go see him. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. Is great. Come the band the, is great. His guitar player is great. The come, whole band. Come see is the fantastic. comedy group of Isaac and Shanks. Hello, there you go. We're here all this week at the Catskiller. At the, there you go. And then we're at Grossinger. And there? the same yeah. goes for Shanks. You get a money back guarantee from Norm's well, Rare Guitars all part, if you I don't used to like say to Chris anything he does. I used to and say, same with Mark Agnesi. Now if I play, I'm not giving you your money back because you're going to want it back. <laughs> but that was the joke. We would, would do stuff and we'd always say, you know, these parts are guaranteed for 30 days. Yeah. So <laughs> if there was a lick or a part or something needed to be fixed, you know, who was it who made a record and it said, if you don't like, you take this record and if you A, B it to any other record and you feel it doesn't stand up, we'll give you your money back. It was, uh, what's a... He went broke that guy. No, it's the guy who, who did, who did uh, 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 I Write the Songs That Make the Young Girls Cry. Uh, Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. Yeah. Barry Manilow had that, it was a guarantee on his record that said, and I thought... I love you, Barry. It's <laughs> like, you know, like it's like him saying, like, "Hey, yeah, yeah this is good." I, I man. stand by my product. There's I, nothing but good stuff here. So cool. Well, you I'm guys heard surprised. it. You got Mark. You got John. <laughs> you got Chris right here at Norm's Rag Guitars. We love these guys. These are our buddies. You never know who might stumble in here. Uh, John stumbled in. The world. And, uh, Chris stumbled in. <laughs> Mark you, stumbled in. They wheeled me in. Right here, brother. Right here at Norm's Rag Guitars. Thank you, guys. I'm doing good.